Hello everyone, this is Ms. Natri, your English teacher. I hope you are doing well, safe and sound. In this tutorial or in this video, I will explain and discuss the material included for week number four, semester number two. So let's discuss the first day of this week, starting from the 28th of January. On this day, we are going to deeply analyze um, the short story by Ray Bradbury, There Will Come Soft Rains, making this class the close analysis part one. Okay, so if scroll down, aside from the word wall and the videos, you are going to find the block titled Interactive Activity Number One, Close Analysis. Um, you need to follow the instructions in this block to have a successful analysis of the first part of the short story. So you need to read paragraphs from 1 to 10 and then work on the following steps that are that are stated here for annotation like pinpointing the setting of the, of the short story describing the atmosphere highlighting the characters um of course connecting your answers to the main themes uh, of this short story and underlining and explaining the literary devices used and then we will discuss them together um now on the 29th of this week, making it uh, the close analysis part two, again, you are going to continue analyzing the second part of the short story. Um, so I set some questions to, so you can actually, I'm leading the way, right? I'm leading the way. I'm not giving you the answers, but I'm leading, uh, I'm just aiding you throughout your analysis of um, these paragraphs from 11 to 31. So if you follow these questions in chronological order, you will be able to analyze successfully. Um, now, aside from these questions, of course, like the symbolism of the bird, um, in which way is a dog similar to the bird, and so on. So we have literary devices, compare and contrast, keywords, um, themes in connection to the themes, of course. And we have aiding, um, I would say, tutorials, uh, along with some guiding information in the block titled Interactive Activity Number One that will aid you throughout your analysis, as you can see here. Now, on the third day of this week, we are going to finalize the short story by analyzing the last, the last part of it uh, from paragraphs 40 to 67. Um, of course, you have tutorials to aid you throughout the analysis. Um, again, in the interactive activity block titled Close Analysis, you will find leading questions that will aid you throughout. And we will discuss them together, such as... Uh, now, this part of the short story focuses on the metaphorical, I would say, war between two parties. You need to discover who are these two parties, what are they fighting about, uh, what is the purpose or purposes from this fight or war, what kind of weapons are they using, uh, what is the purpose or what is the narrator's message to the audience or the world uh, uh, in reference to this war. Is it metaphorical? Is it li literal? What are the literary devices used in connection to the themes, of course, such as death, control, time, nature versus technology and so on. Of course, your annotation should be set on both your physical book and in your notebooks. Now, on the fourth day of this week, we are going to cover the second grammar topic, dependent and independent clauses. Sorry, it takes, sometimes it takes time to open. Anyways, on this page, you are going to find PPTs on dependent, independent clauses. You're gonna find um, a, the block, the word wall that includes multiple keywords. Um, you are going to also find uh, tutorials that will aid your understanding. You're gonna find blocks uh, with images attached to SAVAS, for example, the lesson itself, and practice questions, and of course, external reliable resources that um, 
um, also uh, have practice tests and so on. Okay, now let me see, why isn't it opening? Yeah, it opened finally. So you have words such as dependent clauses, coordinating conjunctions like the fanboys, subordinating conjunctions, sentence fragments, and complete sentence. So you're going to find a PPT that will aid your understanding on dependent and independent clauses, and along with the ebook interactive lesson, uh, tutorials. Uh, some semi, I would say, interactive activities to aid your understanding. Now, on the last day of this week, which is the 1st of February, we are going to work on part one of the author of the month. Now, the author of the month, fortunately for us, is the same author as um, the author of the short story, There Will Come Soft Trains, Ray Bradbury. So you will be familiar with the author's biography and uh, perspective regarding sci-fi, science fiction. But we are not going to work on the same short story. It's going to be an external text, um, uh, which is called Fahrenheit 451. We are going to focus on the author's biography, the concept of science fiction, and the novel Fahrenheit 451. Uh, here you're going to find PPTs on science fiction, on the author's biography, and on the novel Fahrenheit 451, along with tutorials that will aid your understanding. Now, as for the interactive activity that you are going to work on, it will be held in the library. Um, and so you go, you are going to work on um, it. Will this, I would say, lesson will be distributed into two interactive lessons. This lesson focuses on research, so you're going to go to the library. Uh, and each group, you're going to sit in three groups. Each group will work on a specific task, right? Group number one will draft key points for the carton paper uh, describing the genre of science, science fiction. Uh, group number two will outline details for the carton paper presenting Ray, Bar uh, Ray Bradbury's biography, including his life achievements and so on. And group number three will draft content for the, the, for the carton paper detailing uh, or discussing the novel Fahrenheit 451. Okay, now the, uh, wait. Yeah, that's pretty it. So you also have leading ideas and questions in the interactive activity number two block. So we will discuss more information about this, of course, in class. Thank you so much for listening and have a nice day.